So in this video I'll be showing you how to clip a poodle's face. Here we've got a set of clippers, a cordless pair, with a number 10 blade on them, which leaves a 1.5mm of coat. When you're clipping a face you can use an even closer blade, like a 15 or a 30, um, but it depends on the sensitivity of the dog's skin, um, which blade you should pick. So I'm going to use a number 10 blade on this poodle. You find with the apricot and the, the cream and the white coloured poodles they tend to have quite sensitive skin. So with this one I find if I go any shorter than a 10 blade on her face, um, she can get clipper rash. So, when you're clipping a face, you want to work from the back of the head forward. You don't want to go with the, the direction of the face. Obviously then you're risking cutting the eye and that sort of thing. Clipping this way will achieve a smoother, closer finish as well. So, we start by holding the ear back on one side and you want to clip a line from the front of the ear in line with the corner of the eye. And then, keeping the ear folded back, you want to clip down to just under the neck. Like so. Come here. Careful around the eye, obviously. You scoop right down the tip of the nose. Careful not to catch the fold of skin there. It's okay. When you get round the mouth part, what you want to do is, with one hand, pull the skin tight here. You'll find that all dogs have this lip fold here, so without pulling the skin back, you won't expose the fold and be able to get the hair out there. I'll show you what that is here. So, pull the skin back. You can even get your thumb in there to stretch the skin completely. Careful the dog doesn't stick their tongue out. At all times you want to make sure the skin is taut, otherwise you'll be left with lots of clumps of hair um, where you can risk cutting the dog as well. Just keep all the hair. Now when you're getting around the front bit here, you want to gently put your hand around the muzzle to stop the dog from sticking their tongue out. It's probably quite tickly for the dog. Okay. So this poodle's a little bit restless at the moment because she's just come in from a long walk. So again, on the other side, from the corner of the ear, in line with the eye. Yeah. 
make sure when you're clipping the face that you stop every now and then and just touch the blade to make sure that it's not getting too hot because a hot blade will also cause a clipper, clipper rush, clipper burn. If it does get too hot, if you've got a spare blade, swap them over or just wait, wait a little while until the blades cool down and then start again. Pull the skin back. Right in that fold. Again, when you're rear the front of the, the muzzle, hold it shut in case the tongue comes out. The tongue can still slip out without you, with you holding it. So just be extra careful there. You might find in patches you'll need to go the opposite direction that we usually are clipping. Some bits will just go under the clipper blade otherwise. Okay, and go up. So down the throat a little, not too far down. And you want to stop between the eyes. Quite often groomers make the mistake of going too far up in line with the corner of the eyes here. Again, you may need to go carefully towards the eyes here just to make a smooth finish. And then when you think you've finished the groom, just go back over, pull in the skin taut in case you've missed any bits. Again, don't forget to check those blades aren't getting too hot. So obviously all dogs' hairs grow at different rates, um, but as a shaved face is a traditional style for a standard poodle, um, there's no reason why you can't clip the faces once a week. With Pumpkin, her hair tends to grow quite slow, so we clip her once every two to three weeks. Obviously what I find with standard poodles, and, and obviously the smaller poodles as well, even though it's natural for them to have a fluffy face, I find they find it quite uncomfortable if their faces are, are fluffy and pumpkin when her hair gets too long around her face she rubs it a lot and her eyes start weeping so I think it is better for the breed to, to have a clean shaved muzzle and I think she appreciates it more and it does make them look quite posh. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.